So 817 on a Thursday. So while some people are having a hard time just getting out of their pajamas during quarantine, Alfred Howard has used this time to challenge himself to write 100 songs in a year. He's with me this morning. Welcome, you crazy, crazy man, you. <laughs> Good morning. How are you doing today? And I have to because we can see them on screen. We've got Mara and Tim who are going to perform one of your songs. Good morning. Uh, so Good morning. exciting. Talk about setting goals. Now, this kind of Alfred stemmed from your mom being worried about you, huh? Oh, well, so my mom, <laughs> I think everything, everything in life stems from my mom being worried about me. <laughs> but, uh, no, this is, uh, I've been, I've been playing music for years and, you know, for the first time in a long time, I had some downtime during the pandemic and I wanted to use that in a positive way. You know, there's so many rabbit holes to go down and, and you know, it's just a hard time for all of us. So I decided to release two songs a week with, uh, collaborators from all across the United States. My mom had recently moved out to San Diego and she's an amazing uh, watercolor painter. Um, she's been doing it for six decades. And uh, I wanted to have her involved in the project as well. So I asked if she would do an original piece of artwork for each song and uh, she hopped the board. She was happy to do so. Oh, and and uh, it occupied some of her worry percentage. <laughs> well, she, she wanted to make Sounds. sure that her son was doing what he loved, right? So she kind of pushed you into Absolutely. that. Yeah, and we're showing yeah. some of her work right now, and it is absolutely beautiful. I know you two have gotten a lot of publicity or attention, I should say, for this, right? Yeah, we had some good luck with the project. I mean, we've been at it for a while. We're uh, song 64, so that's like 32 weeks of music. And, uh, you know, we had the good opportunity of going on the Kelly Clarkson show, which yeah. is, you know, our, our first national television appearance. And uh, that spread the word further than, you know, we've been able to reach before. So I have to ask you, as a creator, what you're doing is, is just beautiful because creating is hard. Sometimes you need to be struck with that inspiration. How are you going through this challenge? Do you, are there some days where you just force yourself to create and you're kind of pleasantly surprised with what comes out? Um, you know, for me, especially living through these times that are so chaotic and, and you know, and challenging, there's a lot of stimuli there for me to reflect on. You know, there's just been so much going on in the past year, historically, you know, finding little moments and pockets of beauty in all that chaos. And I find it, you know, for me personally, just easy to write songs about that. For every song that comes out for the project, I probably write about five or six that, that don't, you know, because I'm reaching out to so many different musicians to see if they're available or interested in doing one of the songs. So. I, I've been able to find inspiration just about everywhere. Well, and that's what it is. It's inspiration from small moments and not being afraid to put that creativity out there. I want to get to Tim McNally and Mara Kay, who are going to perform one of your songs. So I think we're going to hear from them now. All right. Thank you guys for having us. All right. Hey, are, are we here? I think we're here. Yeah, Let's do it. This is Dystopian Blues. Mm -hmm. 